Hi there, I'm Lee. I'm a second year at Northeastern University, and I've been working at the Ocean Genome Legacy as Assistant Collections Co-op. I originally applied for this co-op because I have experience working in museum collections and was curious about what the collections work at a genetic repository like OGL would be like. As a genetic repository, OGL stores samples of tissue and DNA from marine life to catalog the organisms and make them available to other researchers. My work at OGL has been with the Genome Resource Rescue Project a project that takes in samples from retired researchers. Many scientifically valuable samples can be lost when a researcher retires and has nowhere to store them, so OGL is stepping up to give the samples a new home. The two main collections I have been working on are from Dr. Charles Fisher and Dr. William Dietrich. Both are unique collections containing organisms that the average person wouldn't be exposed to. I'm handling creatures from over a mile and a half deep in the ocean and specimen from the cold depths of Antarctica Sea. These samples were not easy or cheap to collect, which is why they are valuable to have and to study. It has been amazing to be able to work with such unique and important specimen. It is a very special feeling to work with a sample knowing you are one of only dozens of people who have seen this species. I split my time between working on my computer and hands-on in the lab. On my computer, I gather additional data on samples using crews and dive logs from when the samples were originally collected. I then input this data about the samples into OGL's database. During my co-op, I was able to automate some of these processes by writing code, such as one that I wrote that automatically converts location coordinates into the correct format for the database. After gathering all this information and uploading it, I relabeled the samples so they can easily be found later. The data on the samples in OGL's database are also uploaded onto many online databases like GBIF and GGBN, so other scientists can use it in their research. Working at OGL is one of my first experiences in what will hopefully be a long career in research science. Here, I get to go beyond the classroom and actively work in a lab where I can apply my coding skills, the scientific method, and learn new things. One of my favorite parts of my work is learning new things about the specimen I'm working with. Dr. Charles Fisher's collection is full of rare creatures from hydrothermal vents, places deep under the sea where the basis of the food chain is not plants, but instead bacteria that get their energy from volcanoes and hydrogen sulfide. Most of the species that live at vents are found nowhere else in the world. For example, this shrimp called Alvinacaris miracola that is found in vents in the Gulf of Mexico. The cool thing about this shrimp, besides its ability to live at high temperatures and pressures, is their larval stage. As babies, Alvinacaris miracola float through the ocean and develop into full shrimp only once they find a vent to live at. Researchers believe the shrimp evolved to have this lengthened larval stage capable of long-distance travel so the shrimp can easily settle at new vents, and as a result, despite vents being far away from each other, shrimp populations from different vents can still reproduce, and therefore are not reproductively isolated. This shrimp is just one of many fascinating creatures I get to work with, and my work ensures that this specimen will be available to other researchers who want to learn more about them in the future. I hope this video gave you an idea about the type of work that goes into collections at OGL. Thank you for watching.